Is there anybody here with us? No, well, why don't you show yourselves now? Oh, okay. Or maybe get mad, maybe give one of us a shove. Hi, my name is Michael Hendrickson. Um, I am the co-founder for the team out of Wisconsin known as Glass. The chief here is Curtis Harvey. He's the tech manager for our team, which has been together. We've been paranormal investigating for the past two years. Two years. I'm married with kids, uh, hobbies and interests, not too much, but I guess uh, martial arts and bad martial art movies. That's pretty much it. Other than that, normal, average, working, everyday person. I'm married. I have three <coughs> kids. Uh, my hobbies pretty much include fishing and paranormal investigating. A paranormal experience, I guess. I mean, other than the evidence we've gotten when we've been investigating, I've never really had a definitive paranormal experience. Are you guys back over in the room back by the, um, the Spanish room? There's a bunch of white flashes on the camera. I was like, shooting over right out of the bottom here. It was white lights and real bright. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> you know, some of our crazy whacked out friends would bring up, you know, hanging out in the cemetery. Um, uh, manual focus, because the auto will pick up out here. It worked fine in the house setting when we were down in uh, Juno. Myself, I've never had a paranormal experience that's really jumped out. Right now, I got a little bit of a tingle in my arm, but nothing like I had over there. I analyze things way too much. You know, gotta find an alternate reason for that stuff. Just before I sit, I claim the paranormal. I'm gonna go check the whole room. Mm -hmm. You know, even up here, all the way down to the floor, and see if I got an erroneous error from something. That's kind of why I guess why we feel that. Um, we would kind of like to be a representation of the next ghost hunting team because of our unique team dynamic. If you want to say something, I'm holding a device in my hand. If you want to say something, we'll be able to hear you later. If you want us to leave at any time, we are not about to leave until we get some proof of your existence. Oh, Kurt, here's the tape. You can just took out. Okay, got it. It's dust. You know, you look at the differences between you and I with the way we address it. You know, I'm more. Relaxed and laid back. Oh, you guys suck. <laughs> We're <a> fucking absolutely. <laughs> okay, guys, no more pranks today. Yeah, you're, you're the complete opposite. Right, I'm, I'm tech department manager. If somebody forgot a piece of equipment, I'm not happy. We should. I'm be the next paranormal team. I mean, it's we we can offer so many different theories and our own unique theories. And unique theories, you know, right. things things that we talked about before. We've informed the team, you know. Uh, investigating during the day was one, uh, checking the way equipment reads on uh, people during um, uh, periods of heightened, you know, emotions and things right, like that right. when there are noises and stuff going on. And we were trying to figure out, you know, well, if we take away certain things like, you know, like the nighttime atmosphere, are people still feeling these things or seeing these things? I'm getting occasional little spikes all the way up to 78, kind of around here. It could be reading off the computer, but it's not being a steady read. Favorite episode of Taps, I would have to say Waverly Hills. You know, it, just because of the location and all the things that have gone on there, all the all the emotions and stuff that are right. pent up and trapped in the place, and you know, the idea that that those become residual things and stay in there. I guess I would like to see more of them investigating, like when they're in an area like where the hills, like all the other parts of it. You know, because the place was so big, it's like there's got to be more going on there. If you catch something that nobody's seen or heard in, in a location at all before, then, you know, how much more real is it then? For me, it's any episode where there was an equipment malfunction, it shows that you're real people. It's not a scripted event. Anything can happen. Stuff goes wrong. I would change some of the camera angles because, you know, what I see for the walkthrough is not correlating to where I see some of these cameras being set up. You know, I'm saying, well, the homeowner says this is a big hot spot. Yeah. Why are you not covering that with a camera at all? For me to decide a place is haunted, like I said, I, never really having a real experience with it in anything, way, shape, or form, I would need something so pronounced to happen. Like, I would need something to literally, you know, jump right in front of my face, openly interact with me, and be able to hear it all at the same time. But to call it haunted, I want documentation, and if I can't get multiple sources of different documentation, like video, like audio, like personal experiences, that place is not haunted.